it is our duty to watch out for more than our own profit margin the way you will act as a private company. So what's our duty then? To make the best use of the taxpayers' money. To give them benefits, to increase our economy, to make people get more jobs. By telling us you're not even looking out for profit margin, are you suggesting we take a loss on our taxpayers' money? That's not something the Ministry of Finance can accept at all. Students from junior colleges recently faced off on big money issues like CPF and taxes. The topics may not be team fodder, but emotions do ran high and heated arguments ensued. The students were battling it out at the preliminary rounds of the Ministry of Finance Budget Debate Challenge. Four competing teams, two on each side, represented the government or various interest groups. Topics ranged from imposing a carbon tax. We say the carbon tax is an essential part of Singapore's strategy to become a green part. To an increase in CPF contribution. This policy enhances economic effectiveness and gives the taxpayers much more bang for their buck. This is the second time that you are doing this budget debate. So why did you decide to come back again? Um, for one, it was to help the debate club, of course. And debate is addictive, what can I say? <laughs> sure, debating is addictive. But thus, rebutting people slowly become a habit. Do you find yourself correcting people all the time? Um, a bit, I guess. Um, it's not an annoying habit. Lah. Just Sometimes you just feel that some things are important enough and I guess, yeah, that's fine. Towards the government when they don't need to be held that's detrimental to Singapore. As you pointed out, this has already been done for the previous years, whereby CPF rates have been increased to 25% as you said. You can't always get along with people, I guess. So sometimes maybe if you, you are a debater, you tend to be a bit more um, rigid. And not rigid, but like, you want to push your point further, so it might get on people's nerves. Nowadays, I, I don't see things you know, in a one-sided perspective. Rather, now everything seems two-sided. Uh, any, any decision I make, there's always this argument and that argument. And I guess it is good in the sense that I can make more rational decisions, but it's bad in the sense that I take forever to make a decision. So you don't have to be argumentative if you're a debater. Some debaters have a very nice, amiable style. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I'm not one of them. <laughs> Thankfully, at the end of the day, it was just words and ideas exchanged and there were no hard feelings. We, we debate all the time, so there's like no offence ever taken, I think. The finalists of the MOF Budget Debate Challenge are Hua Chong Institution, Victoria Junior College, Anglo-Chinese School Independent, Raffles Institution Junior College.